They've gone a long, long way in this Champions League campaign. And while they might be tempted to think about the final, first things first, this semi-final hurdle to clear. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Real Madrid and they take on Arsenal. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Real Madrid doing well to regain possession here. He fancies it. Stopped a certain goal. Cross. Here's Vinicius Jr. Cross. Has a go. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Cross with the corner. And still dangerous. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Started by Arsenal, a wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Kai Havertz, Marcinelli. Well, he keeps going, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Aurelien Chouameni. Just the challenge that was required. Now this could be productive. And space to cross it. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, he can't believe it, and you can sense his annoyance. They need to start playing again here. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Valverde. The ball with Lucas Vasquez. Rudiger, Federico Valverde. No possibilities in the centre. And a goal! It is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, here's the replay. It all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it and it ends up with a fairly simple finish certainly not much the goalkeeper could do about that well he knows that could prove to be a massive goal just look at his reaction well two one it is here Declan Rice Bellingham and Valverde Rudiger Jude Bellingham 
Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. He'll have a go here. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Out of play, and an Arsenal throw-in forthcoming. And he decided to let the play flow, but now he's going to issue a yellow card. Yeah, I think that's good refereeing. He tried to play the advantage. Martin Odegaard. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Not really the ideal clearance. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Back underway with Arsenal trying to find a route back into the match. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Arsenal doing well to regain possession. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace. And then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Vinicius Junior. Effective challenge. Vinicius Junior. So a half an hour remaining. Teammates available. The ball back with Real now. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. And the substitution will occur now. Rodrigo. And Bellingham. Force. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, I love the celebration, but Ancelotti's got to get his players refocused now. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. And making sure there was no danger in the end. Mendy. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Cross fired over. 
Well, didn't miss by very much and never easy to strike his on the volley in that fashion. Well, from that range, though, it should be a goal. At least it should hit the target. Well, Rail are nearly there now. The fans know it too. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Force. On to Valverde. Vinicius Jr. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. on his mind, hit it as hard as he could and he certainly did that, what a good goal so the current scoreline 4-2 Gabriel advantage, Arsenal Martin Odegaard. What a magnificent pass. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And space to cross it. And Bellingham. Oh, it might be. And a goal! Well, the delivery by Vinicius is put into such a dangerous area and then was a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. And there it is, the full-time whistle. It's advantage, Real Madrid going into the return leg. Well, they were really good today. Their approach play, their movement off the ball, and of course their finishing were excellent, as was their work rate. A disciplined performance in the second leg, and they're into the final.